going to ask you, what do you see as our way out of this? I mean, is the pendulum swinging back, though? Because I feel like it's uh, every step we take forward to resist this, uh, there seems to be a pushback. We think we're making a little bit of headway, uh, and then we find, you know, that there's this force coming, coming back at us all the time. Um, this is far more structured, organized, and embedded, I think, than a lot of people realize. And the control of language is part of that. When you control the language, the linguistics, the, the words that people use to make sense of reality and define reality for themselves, you are really playing with reality itself in a sense. And, yeah. and, and we see the emergence of words like cisgender to mean somebody who identifies with the biological gender that they're born with. That's a subtle and very, very clever uh, almost diabolical kind of manipulation of thought and language, isn't it? It is, and uh, I'll refer to George Orwell again. Uh, he, he writes that when he was in the Spanish Civil War uh, being shot at, afterwards he wrote, uh, being shot at w was dangerous and, and terrifying, but even worse, he argued, was when people control language, because if you can control language, you control how people think. And and that's the point that Lenin understood, that Stalin understood, yeah. uh, that language in George Orwell, uh, Winston, his job in the Ministry of Truth is to lie about the past, to lie about uh, Big Brother, to present everything in the newspaper as positive. So if you can control the language, control the media, control the way people speak, what they read, then really you're more than halfway there than imposing your ideology.